Welcome back to KPRC 2 News Today. That was fun. At 10 o'clock, Wednesday, <laughs> I didn't even know the date, I apologize. Wednesday, October 8th, it all runs together once we get it to does. baseball, postseason, it does. fall. It's a blur. Beautiful weather. Especially when we start winning. I know. Let's go. We need Let's to start go, winning. Astros. Uh, yeah, I was at the uh, Italian Cultural and Community Center luncheon yesterday. We have um, a yeah, luncheon every year to raise money for the center and a fashion show. And um, uh, the lo one of the local priests was there to give the invocation and said a prayer for the Astros. Aww. So, so well, maybe that, hopefully that'll help. That's we need gonna help a Down 2-0, uh, we do want to talk a little <laughs> baseball because the Astros are on the road uh, up at Arlington Field. Globe Life, Arling it's in Arlington. Globe Life Field is what yes, it's called. Tonight yes. they'll play around 7 o'clock. And our Bill Barajas is a longtime Astros fan. He traveled up to I-45 to check it all out and meet with some fans. So he's got a little he's got a little story to share here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're basically loaded up, headed up to Arlington for game three of the ALCS. The Strohs taking on the Rangers. The Astros down two games to none. No big deal, though. We know our Strohs. They've been here before, and they know how to get the job done. We're going to hop in the car right now and get on 45 on our way to Dallas and to Arlington. We're going to see how many Astros fans we encounter on the way. We'll be cheering with them as we try to get up to Arlington, and we'll see how many Rangers fans we encounter as well. Not really looking forward to any of them. Again, join us on the journey. Go Strohs. <laughs> We hit the road and about an hour in, we realized we needed some inspiration. So we're just about an hour outside of downtown Houston, just under four from Arlington. We're on 45 in Huntsville. We haven't seen any Astros fans just yet or any Rangers fans, thankfully, but we decided that this is a Texas showdown, right? So we needed a little bit of inspiration for this battle in Arlington. And so I got my makeshift weapon and we decided what better place to stop than right here with Big Sam, General Sam Houston. We're gonna take it all in and then get back in the truck as we get ready for the Astros. Let's go, Strolls. On the road again, this time we decided to make a pit stop in Madisonville. I mean, who passes up a Bucky's? Right? We even met a fellow Astros fan. No. Have you seen any Rangers fans on your way up to, to the Dallas area? No, I haven't. But I, I know once I get there, I will see them. You know? But, you're, but you, don't, you don't mind. You're wearing your Oh, no, Astros man. Definitely, ride. definitely. I'm going to support my, you know, my home team. The drive up I-45 is a relatively smooth one with what you might expect to see driving through Texas. As we got closer, we had a few laughs. We need uh, Kyle Tucker. We need him to start swinging. Yep. We need him to, to get going. We need break. Yep. We need some breaking bombs. Breaking bombs. We need some breaking bombs. Not the sauce. But <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get some people on base for Jordan, right? I mean, he's right. he, he's hitting home runs. Mostly, we talked about H Town's sweet revenge. We met some who agreed, and others who disagreed. Jordan, I think he can uh, knock one out the park. I think uh, Altuve, they got it. I mean, we just got to worry about our pitching and contain everybody. I think it's a perfect story, man, after beating the Rangers all year. You know what I mean? And for them to do what they're doing right now, if the Rangers make it through, it's, it's, it, it makes for the greatest story told this season. Well, we finally made it to Arlington. The almost four-hour drive is now over. A pretty quiet one. Didn't really see many Astros fans or Rangers fans out on uh, the journey here. We are now at Globe Life Field. And as you can see, this is sort of the calm before the storm. Not many fans out right now. That, of course, will change as we get closer to game three of the ALCS. The Astros, well, we all know they're a better road team. So we got game three, we got game four, and we got game five. We have full confidence in our boys that they will take care of business out on the road. By the time this is all said and done, the Rangers team themselves and their fans are going to have to take a page out of good old Nolan Ryan's book here and just tip their hats to us. In Arlington, Bill Barajas, KPRC. C2 News. Nice, yeah. Get tipped the hat. Well, good thing they made it through the speed traps. Yeah. No tickets, but they made that stop at Bucky's. And I, I know love, you guys think Bucky's. Bucky's is just around here, and they've opened one, I mean, one in Georgia or Florida. Mm -hmm. They've opened a few others. But do you guys know that Bucky's is worldwide? Bucky's is worldwide, worldwide. Uh huh. This morning we were, <laughs> we were running Bill's story. We were talking about it. Um, one of my, my buddies, Robert Mock, sent me a picture. Can we said, zoom hey, my, in on that? He said, my wife. Uh, <laughs> took this picture in England just yesterday. Charlene Carroll in England right now saw this yesterday in Castlecombe, which is a tiny town in the middle of Cotswolds. 
Cotswolds, England. If you see in the center of the garbage can there is a Bucky's head, the beaver, Bucky right? the beaver there. So somebody took a Bucky sticker back to England and defaced property in the tiny town of whatever I just said in that weird accent I tried to do. <laughs> But uh, anyway. We love Bucky's. Oh, that's a good little shout out. Love it. Thanks to Robert. We stop there and I save the girls because the, the mascot is there and they're taking pictures and they're getting um, the, the, the frosty drinks, the, oh, like the, the ices. Yeah. yeah, and we're getting all the snacks. And Beaver like, nuggets. Who needs Disney World? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Bucky's. You can find anything. We were going out to the beach one, one summer and it was like, oh, like. There's a boogie board. <laughs> Some random. We actually went Christmas shopping there last year. <laughs> we yes, they have the best shop with like all the Texas stuff. I love it. People come home from the holidays in Texas. It's like, oh, uh, I, I forgot the gift. They'll oh, stop at Bucky's. Bucky's. It's like, yeah, that's a good move. Such good fudge anyway, too. We mm. love the Bucky's memories. Keep them coming. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Okay. Okay, I know you like so, this one. I love this one. Astronomers using the James Webb telescope have for the first time spotted tiny quartz crystals containing silica near an exoplanet. So silica is a common particle found on beaches and is used to make glass. Scientists say they found the crystals in some clouds of an exoplanet known as the WASP-17b exoplanet. It's located 1,300 light years away from Earth. Goodness, I was about to do the math Can on you how do far the math that on is, that? and okay. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to try. Okay, it's far. Researchers say up until now, the atmospheres of most exoplanets contain magnesium and not quartz. So really? That's a big find, so this is a, apparently. <laughs> now the question. Quartz and then water on the other, Bennu, the asteroid, oh, right. remember? The yeah. asteroid came, right. That came back, they found water. You got to go far. To get. So, and I always ask the question, and they're going to go try to retrieve it next, right? Because what do you, I mean, you can't make money off that. Yeah. <laughs> <Not doing it. laughs>